and I'm using this and some maybe probably some other stuff. Hey y'all, APG Jamie here. Let's make some shaggy flowers. Also probably called shabby flowers, I'm thinking. I've not made them before, so now's a good time. And I have this here burlap leaf. Why did I pick that to cut up? I don't know, because I have some flat burlap, so your guess is as good as anybody's, I reckon. <laughs> so I'm cutting it up. Uh, Y'all saw I punched out some um, circles. They, they have the wavy, the ruffly, not ruffle, you know, the scalloped edge, scallop circle, if you will. And I'm just cutting pieces of burlap to uh, adhere on top of that arranging them this mushy and I'm going to staple them okay I've not like well I know I said it already but I might say it again I've not made these before and I'm looking for a fairly solid base and I'm going to try to keep these flat ish ish being you know yeah because I don't want them too thick. Because they could go on the outside of the journal. You could put them on uh, a paper clip. Uh, you could probably dangle them on something. You could put them on a journal page. If you put a pen behind it, you know, like a brooch, you could wear it on your clothing. If you put it on a hair barrette, you could wear it in your hair. You know, just... They're pretty versatile things, I think. Once I got to thinking about it, because, you know, I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I did them for a swap, y'all. Y'all know me. I did them for a swap. I'm happy with them. So, any hoobles, I've got this here fabric strip, which came from one of those rag rugs. And I don't know what kind of fabric it is. It's got texture to it. It's red. My burlap is, is a deep... Uh, whiny looking not wine but you know drinking wine uh what's that bordeaux i don't, i don't know what it is y'all i don't drink anyway uh god picked up this ribbon stuff it probably has an official name but i don't know what it is uh from hobby lobby it was on clearance it was like 75 cents and i thought well that's gonna make some perfect easter grass that's what I thought. Who knew it was going to make perfect shaggy flowers? Well, not by itself. You know, it's got other things on there. And we're going to use some Fabrifix to glue, you know, these bits on. Now, it didn't want to, wind, you know, curl up, circle up kind of very well. So, that's why I cut it apart in little chunks like that. Because you can lay those, those out flat and get the, you know, kind of flay out kind of thing. So, and we're just adding, adding bits. And I'm really thinking this one is, is the first, very fur, 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 fur first one. And it's really not, to me, it's not being so nice looking. But I kept going, y'all know me. I'm like, no, that, that Irish running through my veins, I'm doing it. It's going to keep going. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? I rip it apart. Okay. I'm enjoying myself. So, you know, that's that's the main thing, right? It makes you happy to do it. Process. So, we're doing that. All together, I made three of them. That's what the, the swap was for. Three shaggy. They called them shaggy flowers. I didn't, I, they just showed a picture because I'm like, I don't even know what a shaggy flower is. So they put a picture on there and I thought, well, I can make that. Okay, I'll do the swap kind of thing. So there we go. And I'm thinking, well, that's, that's pretty good. I had a, uh, that was probably a Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 Tree uh, sticker that I put right on the middle. And I thought, well, that is just perfection right there looks good now might not have looked so good in the beginning in the underneath sides but it's looking good now so i thought well i like this here 
ribbony stuff that I was going to use for Easter grass if I don't use it all on these flowers because there's really not that much on that uh, spool. Once I got to looking at it, I thought, well, there's not much trim on there, is it? Anyway, it looks whitish on my screen, but it's really pastel-y. It has, you know, the greens and the blues and the, uh, the lavenders and yellers. I think it's got white in it, too. Anyway, that's why I thought it would make perfect Easter grass-looking stuff. It's also making great little fly shaggy, shabby flowers. And uh, so I'm just going along. I hope, I, I hope they're, I, I'm happy with them. So... I hope my swap partner was happy with them. Was, I say was, because, you know, this is being filmed in advance and blah, blah, blah. So hopefully they got them by now. I'm surely they got them by now. Because I don't even know when I'm going to post this video. This was kind of one of the spur of the moments. Well, let's go ahead and film it kind of thing. So that is some fabric strips from uh, those tea towels from the Walmart, you know, you get them in a big bundle. I don't remember if it's 10 or 15 in a bundle for like $5 at the time I bought them because, you know, this was way back in the, before the plague and everything went, oh, crazy prices. So I thought, well, I'm just going to cut these, this little strip up and we're going to glue it on there. And again, I'm thinking, well, this is just, this is not looking so good. And I'm like, Hmm. I did that for every, all three of these, because I make three of them. We got another one coming. We have to finish this one first. Just be patient. The whole time I was thinking, I don't know about this, y'all. And I'm using Fabrifix, and um, you know, it's it's a um, one of those acetate. Is it called acetate? No, that's not what it is not acetate. Acetate is the plastic film. Well, evidently, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> ah. Anyway, it's not a PVA glue, all right? And then I thought, oh, I got this uh, little bundle of eyelash trim over here, and I pulled out the red one because I thought, well, you know, they could be worked in to a journal together, or they could stand on their own is what I was thinking. You know, I wasn't, yeah, that's just kind of what I was thinking. They would work together, but they would work by themselves, too. So they could be a set or not a set. I know. There's many ways I could phrase that, and it's still going to mean the same thing. <laughs> ah, y'all. Sometimes my brain is like, could I explain that more, Butter? No, I probably explained it more worser. Anyway, just sticking that around on, I uh, had a piece of uh, alcohol, you po lay in there, and I, I picked it up, and I just mm -hmm. cut it around in a little circle. I, sh I get, could have punched it, but I could have just cut it around a little circle, because, you know, because that's what I did. And that's what I stuck the, um, that eyelash. I call it eyelash fiber. I don't know, y'all. It might have another name. I don't know. So, we're sticking that on there, and it looks like a galaxy, y'all. So, that's what I did there. Now, I come back later on. I don't know that I filmed that part. I probably didn't. I come back later on because I thought, well, that needs more of that Easter grass ribbony stuff, whatever it is, whatever it is, y'all. So I put more on it, and um, then it, and it looked more fuller. -er. Now this is a piece of uh, watermelon fabric. Well, you can see that. I know you can see that, and um, so I tore that down in a pretty skin, pretty skinny strip, y'all, and. Um, how how why how big are these these are about the size of the palm of your hand so what is that three or four inch circle flyers y'all probably maybe sort of and uh, again i'm thinking well i'm not seeing in advance on this y'all i'm thinking well this is just i don't know if this one's going to come out i said i know i told you that every time on all three of these, and I thought, why don't, am I going to make them again? I might, because, you know, they were enjoyable to make, except when you have those initial stages, and you're like, well, this is not looking very nice. I'm like, okay, keep going. 
I mean, you know, the worst I can do is throw it away, tear it apart, and try again, right? I'm enjoying myself because I'm like, well, we're just going to make this here ugly thing pretty. <laughs> Maybe. So. It doesn't look like watermelon so much anymore. I mean, it kind of does. It gives you the essence of watermelon. Which I know is a summertime thing. It's not summertime right now. Maybe it's summertime when you're watching the video. Hey, so glad you're here watching the replay. This is a wired ribbon. And I thought, I li I, well, I knew I liked it. I mean, I'm like, well, I like that. So I'm kind of trimmed it off because I'm thinking, well, I'm going to put this in the back. And it will add like a little support in the back, you know, and still be flat-ish. So I cut a few of those off and I'm kind of rounding around the little corners there. And here any day I will pull the wires out with the, uh, with the little pair of jewelry plier thingies. I'm going to pull the wire out because I'm like, I don't, I don't need that wire in there. It, you know, I didn't want it. So I'm pulling it out. And that edge of the ribbon is silver, e iridescent -y kind of look about it. Okay. So we keep going and they're not all the same size you know flower petals are pretty much the same size but not perfectly the same size but you know they are perfect mm -hmm. just saying because you know size doesn't always matter it's what she said oh goodness gracious bless my heart so moving along moving along Pulling out the wire. I'm like, well, that doesn't reach all the way across. And there is a right and a wrong side to this ribbon. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to figure out which is which. I don't know that it would have mattered in the end. But, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. I think I add another one. I think I cut another piece of that ribbon. Because once I flip it over, I'm like, well, let's kind of sparse. Maybe I don't sew that part. Maybe I do. I don't know. Oh, and I had those these little teeny tiny skinny strips of that red fabric we first started with. And I thought, well, we're just going to stick them on there because it's red and watermelon's got red on it. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So this is a piece of that burlap I just cut in a little circle. I'm like, well, and now it looks like a flower. See? They, they're looking, you know, it's like, oh, I don't think this one's working out. And then when you put that center on there, I'm like, yeah, now it's a flower. But I do think I add another piece of that ribbon in the back. I'm not going to swear to it, but I think I do. Did I film it? Probably not. Oh, yes, look, here we go. We're going to do it. We're going to do it on camera. Hmm. It'd be a good time for a musical interlude. Musical, musical, musical interlude. It's a musical interlude for you, for me, just we. Musical interlude. My goodness, y'all, it's been a long time since we did a musical interlude. My husband reminded me of that last night. He says, you know, you haven't done a musical interlude in a long time. I'm like, I haven't. I did that other song that I can't think of the words. You know, I got to look at the words to remember the lyrics to that song. But musical interlude, I still remember. Get ready for the photo montage. Uh, 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 uh. Look at that. They look better in real life. I mean, they're okay on the camera, but man, they sure look good in real life. To have been started off with like, oh, I don't know about that. And that one's sweet. I'll put diamonds on them. A couple of them. Thanks for watching. And happy arting, y'all.